that after the four days treatment with the sodium bicarbonate, let's notice that the previous white tumor is gone, are gone, uh, are, uh, disappeared. And uh, this is also reported in my book, the cancer is a fungus, but in a video it is much more striking. The tumors disappeared. Uh, the liquid you can see is the sodium bicarbonate solution. Usually, from the third to the fourth administration, the fungal colony regresses. And from the fourth to the fifth, uh, the fungal colony shrinks very quickly, rapidly. Here, we made just for washing out treatments, but they were enough to clean completely the bronchia. Now, take a look to another case. And uh, with a, a special device, we here we were able to enter in the pleura of a patient with cancer and made a, vid a video. And you can see that the pleura is quite white uh, instead of the normal color that is red. Here also the cancer is always white. And uh, look now at the lamps, they seem like lamps on the roof, always white and often this color is unknown also for the colleagues. They, they, they don't know, they don't know this color. Uh, but we have to know, we have to be aware of the, the color white that is always in the, in the calcium patients. But look, after a week, the endoscopy shows that the pleura is, is red as it should be. Uh, this is not cancer. This is just a, a reaction of the tissue, but uh, you can see that all the pleura is uh, red and the sodium bicarbonate uh, cleaned up everything. Look, red as it should be. And uh, we, take, we took this uh, video from another point because uh, it was impossible from the previous one, but it is, everything is red now. After the video in the pleura, now take a look to the images of a stomach. And uh, this is a, a stomach endoscopy of a patient with a cancer. And uh, you can observe, observe the white lumps, always white lumps, as you can see here. A, a colleague in the northern it of Italy uh, is, was used to say, when I find a candida for me, I make diagnosis, diagnosis of cancer. It is quite clear what, it, what is beneath the cancer. Uh, the same masses, masses you can see in the world of animals. Now, in this uh, video made by the BBC, you can see that uh, spores attacked an ant and uh, she shows uh, neurological symptoms after the spores invaded the brain. She is completely upset. She tries to uh, she tries to um, move, but uh, uh, and to grip uh, uh, to the stem, but uh, she can't survive. And then. Uh, she fall down, falls down, and since it's, it's very dangerous, is uh, carried away. But uh, uh, which is the cause of the of this illness? Look, it seems a movie. Uh, from the head, uh, from the head of the ant. The foody board of a fungus grows up in three weeks and tried, try to expand quickly. That's why can boast and contaminate uh, the remaining ants. Uh, and then you can see how the fungus grows up and now you can see the masses 
always also white masses. Then uh, it's always the fungus named Candida that attacks the human being, or there are different kinds of fungi that do it? The Candida is the fungus that causes the fungal infection and also the tumors. It is always the Candida because all the fungal species of the human being are variants of the Candida. They differ from 2 to 5 percent, but they have almost the same structure. Because fungi, fungi must have the same genetic amount able to attack a person, the variants depend on the different invaded tissues. But they are always the different species of Candida that are pathogen for a person and make fungal infections and tumors. But uh, how is it possible in the oncology world? Fungal infections are well known from many years. How could it be possible that no one realized that the candida is the cause of the cancer? The candida is always found in the patients of the oncology wards. The problem is how the presence of the fungus is taught. The wrong idea of the official oncology is that the cancer comes before and then the candida attacks and, and enfeebles the organism. But this is uh, only an hypo a hypothesis or more a wrong hypothesis. My opinion is that the candida comes before, makes the cancer locally, invades the organisms and causes the death. Then the real fact is that the candida is always found in the tissues of the cancer patients. Any other idea could be only an invention. But uh, what about uh, all the histology examinations that describe the cancer? And uh, what about the everybody looks at with anxiety? The histology really describes how a tissue tries to protect itself from the fungal invasion. Where the fungus is eating a tissue, this reacts by a cellular overreproduction that tries to block the invasion. If the candida is in the liver,